Hello, everyone, and welcome. Jay Garcia with Garcia Mahomes University here, bringing you another video. So this video here is stigma. I like stigma. And I'm going to explain why the mobile home stigma, one, is not going anywhere. You don't want it to go anywhere. As a matter of fact, let's hope it stays there, right? Let's break, this, let's break down some of that. I was at a park. We had some investors, some real You get crowds, right? You get people that are interested, but are really never going to take that investment. But they're quick to judge. They're quick to toss their comments and what they think. Who would live here was one of the questions. Plenty of people live there. I've lived in a mobile home. Um, there, there's no way I'll invest in something like this. That, that, that's one that gets me. Because, you know, no real investor. Forget about real estate. Forget about mobile homes. No real investor would say such thing if they understand numbers, right? What do, what do the most successful investors, entrepreneurs understand? Numbers. Does it have to be sexy real estate? Does it have to be beautiful? No. Do the numbers check out? Yes. Let me in. I mean, it is what it is, right? And that's fine. But typical mobile home myths that can actually help you as a mobile home investor, you as a mobile home investor who understands numbers, ROIs, returning your investments, it can actually help you make money. So for that, I say, let the stigma roll. I'm okay with it, right? Let's crowd it. You know, one of the reasons that mobile home investing is still very, it's not as low key anymore. It is definitely growing. Uh, you know, I contribute to that. I coach people, but it, it is still a very hidden side of house investing that real estate investors don't understand yet. And the reason behind that is that stigma of, ew, I don't want that. I don't want to deal with this, that, et cetera, those. Okay. That's okay. Again, you know, we that understand numbers, we understand why we get into it. And it's mobile home hard to deal with certain things sometimes. Yes, they are. It comes with the territory. But at the same time, if you understand not just numbers, but you understand how to invest, where to invest, how to create mobile home parks, how to know what's going on in the communities, what does the crime look like? You see, all these things you have to know that make you a better investor. And if you know all the above, the stigma is just nonsense somebody's saying, because I invest in some parts that are very nice. Might as well be residential. I mean, they have so many rural regulations, HOAs, et cetera, crime. That's not happening in these areas. So you have to know where to invest along with where it makes sense. Sometimes you can get in mobile home parks and communities, certain cities, counties that you really don't want to be there. Do the numbers check out? Yes. But do you have to worry about, will my tools be there the next day? Will somebody break in it? Will I have to worry about somebody doing this, that, those, that kind of thing, you know? So you have to kind of wave your options on that and see. But the biggest thing that I see with the, that I wouldn't mention would be uh, depreciation. So it's a, stig it's a stigma. It, it's, uh, you know, things that are said immediately. A mobile home depreciates, period. And it is a vehicle. So much like any car, as soon as you take it out from the dealership lot, it, it depreciates. We'll get to that. Okay. Trailer and meth labs. All right, if you want to buy drugs, go to a mobile home park. And eh, I'm going to put a buzzer on this thing, by the way. Uh, no. Yes. You can go to many places to get drugs, okay? But a mobile home park is seen that way. And again, it's because of that stigma that, ew, kind of trash, kind of dirty. It's got drugs. It's got, yes, there are parks that, uh, again, <clears throat> you probably don't want to be in the area. Definitely not at night. There's just crime going on. There's things that happen. But I mean, just like that, you know, you have Section A housing that may have that happening. It just depends on where it's at. So don't let that fool you. There is very nice mobile home parks out there that welcome you and want to do business with you. If you know how to talk to park managers, park owners, and you know how to make a win-win situation, I assure you, they will welcome you and call you. I have park owners call me every day. Hey, what do you think about this? I mean, of course, a lot of that comes with uh, needing my assistance more from uh, investing side or uh, wanting to get coached, and that's fine. But uh, there is business to be done out there. So, you know, and it's less crowded. The more the stigma comes around and stays around, and like I said, you know, it will never go away and it will keep uh, certain real estate investors away the way I see it, right? Um, mobile homes older than 10 years cannot be moved. I don't know who came up with that. I've heard it more than a few times, and I don't know. I only invest in six different states at this time, taking two additional this year. But I can tell you that in the whole Southeast where I invest, and from what I understand across the board, it is 1976 and above. 1976 and above, not 2006 and above. 1976 and above, that's quite a bit of years there that you can move them. Only thing I would always toss out there is pay attention to the home. 
home in itself, a home that old should really be moving. If you, you know, if you have people, the right people checking it out, inspecting it, and it, it all checks out, move it by all means. But no, it can be older than 10 years. So that was another one. Um, mobile homes hold no value or, nor can appreciate ever. Incorrect. If you take a mobile home, especially a double wide, and you put it on a piece of land, piece of real estate, and you retire the titles of that mobile home onto the land, which created part of the deed, now it's considered real estate, it will actually appreciate, not depreciate. So and again on that. Okay. So many myths, many stigmas, they're around, they'll be around. That's fine. Um, but I hope this video helps you with that because these are things that uh, most people who don't understand mobile homes are going to tell you otherwise or see them as otherwise. And you will know how to make money, profits, benefit from this because other people don't see it the right way. All right. If you're looking for additional coaching, be sure to visit GarciaMHU.com or email me directly as always at j at GarciaMHU.com. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you find these videos productive and drop me a comment. What, what are some of the videos you want me to make? It's something, topics, uh, you know, it could be anything with mobile home related. So definitely um, engage on these videos. I, I like to see feedback. So, okay, till next time. Thank you for watching.